Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the statement of the National Council of Western Armenia. A state award ceremony took place in Yarabalur, Egyptian Maad Center referring to military crimes committed by Azerbaijan, Turkey to send Russian missile experts home. Interview with Frida fighter Haikara Menatakanyan, undiscovered places of Western Armenia, Buyer Crater Lake of Dersim, flooding Amasya of Western Armenia. The German court declared Soho Montehlerian innocent for Talat Pasha's murder on June 2, 1921. This morning, we learned that the bodies of several hundreds of our soldiers are being kept in the refrigerators of the morgue of the Abovian Tuberculosis Hospital, wrapped in plastic bags. President Arminak Abrahamian once again pays a tribute in memory of our young soldiers. We have come to such a shaming situation. What has happened in Armenia since September 27, 2020, corresponds to serial mass crimes, not only from Turkey, Azerbaijan, international terrorism with the complicity of other states, but also under the cover of the current authorities, which means that there is a deliberate will to instrumentalize the crimes perpetrated against the Armenian youth of Armenia. It is appalling. It is abominable. It is intolerable. Changes in the political management of the country and the resumption of the security of the Armenian population are necessary, immediately, without delay. A state award ceremony was held in Yarabalur Military Pantheon on the occasion of the International Day of Peacekeepers. Commander of the Peacekeeping Forces Bragit, Mayor General Tonoyan, expressed gratitude for 2020. To hand over the award to the servicemen, relatives of the victims who showed courage in the unleashed war on September 27. According to the offers, the other atrocities, the war crimes that killed 41 civilians, the hostilities that led to the expulsion of 110,000 civilians, the loss of tens of thousands of people from their homes, are fully accommodated by the Charter of International Military Tribunal in Nuremberg in 1945. It should be reminded that Turkish-Egyptian relations have been deteriorating since 2013. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi considers Turkey a hostile power that threatens the Egyptian political system. Countries also have different positions on the balance of power in the region. Turkey said it will send home Russian missile experts overseeing the S-400 air defense technology that has trained ties with the United States. The remarks which come ahead of a planned meeting between Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and President Joe Biden on the sidelines of a NATO summit in Brussels mid-June signal Ankara's readiness to compromise on one element of U.S. concerns. Washington has said Turkey should end the presence of Russian personnel in the country to help with training and assembly of the missiles. However, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, who said the system would be under Turkish control when the experts left, reiterated Ankara would not budge on Washington's broader demand to get rid of the missiles in order for related U.S. sanctions to be lifted. He rejected U.S. calls on Turkey not to activate the missiles. It is not possible to accept calls from another country to not use them, he said. On Western Armenia TV, freedom fighter Haikara Menatakanyan, who participated in the Artsakh war, spoke about the problems and emissions he faced during the war, noting that from the first day of the 44-day war, they formed a detachment to go to the front, but organizational problems arose on the spot. The only precondition for survival on the spot was the current intuition, past orientation. Referring to the current diplomacy of Armenia, he noted that the war is the result of poor diplomacy, which led to many casualties, the loss of most of the territory of Artsakh. Buyer Lake of Western Armenia is a crater lake located on the top of Buyer Mountains at a height of 3,200 meters. Buyer Lake, one of the holy places of Dersim, besides being a tourist attraction, is important as its people could overcome the Dersim massacre hiding in the caves. In order to get to Buyer Lake, one should work through a lot of plants led by the flowing water. It's assuming that regardless of the summer season, there is snow. Dear compatriots, it is one of the places that must be visited in Western Armenia. We recommend you visit it at the first opportunity. The water accumulated due to heavy rains turned into flood and flowed to the central districts in Tashova province, Amasya, Western Armenia. The flood swept away in Esilermak district. After the rain in the afternoon, the accumulated water in the upper districts reached the inner districts of the city. Although there were no casualties from the disaster, homes and workplaces were damaged. 
March 15 of 1921 was the last day of the life of Talat Pasha, one of the greatest executioners of the Armenian people. Writer Shahan Natali explained to Solomon Taylorian what a 25-year-old Armenian Avenger should do after killing Talat in Berlin. You will blow out the skull of the number one murderer, don't try to escape and surrender to the police. Taylorian was born in the village of Bagarich in Kamach after the evacuation of Western Armenia and the genocide in which his mother and relatives were killed. Tehlerian was listed for Operation Nemesis. After killing Taliat, he was arrested. However, he was released from the courtroom on June 3rd of 1921, where Johannes Lepsus defended him. Acquitted by a German court, Tehlerian moved to Belgrade, then settled in Fresno, where he died in 1960. Now we present you Thomas Bogosian, Arakel Musher. <laughs> version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.